As I continue the dive, I tally up more and more invasive lionfish. I'm careful to keep my distance. They're venomous and capable of delivering a potent sting with their spines. So I'm extra wary when checking different compartments and swim throughs. Turns out, they're not at all hard to find here, which is exactly the problem. There are dozens of lionfish down here. In some cases, more than 100 lionfish on one reef site that may be the size of your car. It's unsustainable for a lot of the species that are on those reefs or were on those reefs prior to lionfish showing up. Well, that was cold. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> it's a little, a little, little bit. chilly. Good vis, though. Yeah, great visibility. All right, well, that was a great dive. Yeah, it was killer. Yeah, we absolutely yeah, awesome. had lionfish down there. Yes, we did. Mm -hmm. We didn't have lionfish 10, 15 years ago. So just adding lionfish to the system totally changes things. They may be preying on fish like uh, red snapper and grouper that we really depend on. Scientists say that on some reefs, lionfish are killing off up to 80% of young fish. And in some Atlantic waters, they make up nearly 40% of the total predator biomass. Not long ago, they made up 0%. This leads us to the question, how did lionfish end up so successful here where they don't belong? And where did they come from? Well, lionfish occur throughout the Indo-Pacific oceans, basically from the Red Sea and Indian Ocean throughout the Central Pacific, all the way out to French Polynesia. They have a number of predators in their native range, so no one, no one looks at as lionfish as a nuisance. They look at them as this beautiful ornamental species that everyone wants to have in their fish tank. The lionfish's strange beauty makes them popular in home aquariums around the world. And most scientists believe that is what led to the Atlantic invasion. Here we're talking about something that happened just like that. The theory is, in the 1980s, lionfish living in home aquariums were released off the coast of Florida. Somebody took this species that had never, you know, been found naturally in the Atlantic Ocean and dumped it in. And it just took off. Over the past few decades, they've spread up and down the Atlantic coast and Caribbean. From North America all the way down to Brazil. And there are records of lionfish in the Mediterranean, introduced separately via the Suez Canal. Our ability to move species from one place to another is uh, over very large distances is much greater than what many of those species would be able to accomplish by their own means. We short circuit the geographic barriers between these species uh, through things like the pet trade. And so things that would have kept these species apart, you know, essentially forever, for millennia, we've done away with that barrier. The other, you know, aquarium species have been released into the open ocean and they don't, you know, do well. You might have a small local population or they may just, you know, die out completely. Um, but you take a, a fish like a lionfish that just has all the characteristics that make it a, a hardy survivor and, you know, it can wreak havoc. Humans managed to move plenty of animals to opposite ends of the earth. So what sets lionfish apart? What allows them to proliferate so successfully in their new territories? As a fish biologist, someone who loves studying these species, we're often drawn towards the, the evolutionary novelties or the oddities, the weirdos in the fish world. And lionfish are definitely one of them. Most fish don't have frilly moving appendages on the outside of their body. Most fish look like a torpedo, essentially, with some short fins on the top and the bottom. The lionfish seems to have a suite of characteristics that make it a particularly great invasive species, or terrible invasive species, depending on your perspective. Their appetite is seemingly endless, and they digest food very quickly, too. A lionfish can eat 90% of its body weight in a day. In fact, a lionfish's stomach can expand up to 30 times in size. They will not chase down a food item across the reef and eat it. That's just not how they work. They're, they're smarter 